bringing you team coverage from all over the state. 7 News reporter Georgery Godfrey is at the Emergency Operations Center in Columbia, where earlier Governor McMaster suspended mandatory evacuations in Jasper, Beaufort, and Colleton counties. Ben Hoover is along Interstate 26, where lanes were reversed to help with the evacuation. We're going to start in the upstate with people and pets who have already gotten away from the hurricane. Kirsten Glavin has more on their move to the upstate. Evacuations for people and animals along the coast are currently underway, but for places like the Greenville Humane Society, space is an issue. <laughs> These little guys are hurricane evacuees. <laughs> Brought over from the low country shelters, they're now finding a temporary home at the Greenville Humane Society. This is Sydney, um, and she is a two month old coonhound mix. She has two siblings that also came up with her from the low country. She arrived on Sunday. Between 60 to 70 dogs and cats placed in cages and play areas. And while they're safe and still under close care, it's causing an overcrowding issue. We're just doing everything we can to save lives. Julia Brunel says they can house 180 animals. Currently, they have about 240, an extra 60 over capacity. They're now hosting a discounted adoption event, hoping people will come by to bring them home. If you are ever looking for the right time to adopt and you have room in your home for an animal, now is the right time. Pets aren't the only ones fleeing Florence. People like Lanai Cuello are too. It wasn't up until last night where the College of Charleston decided to evacuate its students. Cuello got this letter from the College of Charleston announcing class cancellations and campus closure. He drove home to Greenville Monday night with a friend, evacuating ahead of the storm. Any college student is kind of relieved to have a little break, you know, just glad we're safe. Donations can also be made to the Greenville Humane Society to help take care of the animals that are currently here. We'll have more information about that posted to our website, WSPA.com. Reporting in Greenville, I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. Yeah, the